Welcome to the semi-finals of the Animator Guild Short Film Contest 2023. This is part three of four in the showcase. I hope the trailer got you excited for what you're about to see. These are all brand new animations that are making their online debut here tonight. The links to these creators will be in the description of this video. And I invite you to check out the work of these creators, especially the ones that you enjoy. We are proudly sponsored by XP Pen and TV Paint. Their links will be in the description for you to browse. If you want to make the animation process a more intuitive experience for yourself, consider getting yourself a hardware or software upgrade from these two sponsors. But for now, get your popcorn ready. If you have it, sit back relax and enjoy. You got the tools? Yes, I do. Okay, we need to deliver this medicine to his daughter. Do you know where the house is? No, I can't see it from here. Let me get a better look. There. I can see it. In order for us to get there, we need to walk this path. Shouldn't take that long. It's blocked. It's fine. We'll just find another way. There. Too dangerous. There is no other way. Always keep this pointing down.
out. I can't walk here. There's a monster! Uh, what? I said... There is a monster! Wait! Guys! We can't just give up now! After we've come so far? Sure, things aren't looking great, but... When have they ever? This could be a pivotal moment for humanity. And we're just gonna give that up because 4 out of 5 rocket engines are experiencing critical failure? <coughs> Did the great minds of the last millennia give up so easily? And this achievement will stand right up there with theirs. Advancements like the plane, nuclear fusion, the atomic bomb, hardcore punk rock, the Sahara Desert, Periwinkle, Harriet Tubman. Let's follow in the footsteps of our fathers and take our place among the stars. Sir, population displacement on Moon Barris was not honored by various native tribes. There are tens of thousands refusing to leave the moon and thousands more hiding. My peace negotiations were not honored, eh? Seems like we may have to use a whip after all. Understood, sir. We'll send the specialist out there. Uh, Lord, excuse my curiosity. May I know why you have an open children's book on your deck? My mistake, sir. I shouldn't have been so direct with you. Hmm. <laughs> no need to apologize. This book contains ancient folklore on the orbit of Kronika. Would you like me to read you a tale? I'd be delighted, sir. Hmm. <laughs> Good. New order. Frag control the southeastern caverns. We, we spotted two suspects in a red aircraft.
Open you dumb door! Pawnee, where's the parachute I gave you? Didn't need it. You wouldn't have to crash land each time if you remembered the equipment I lent you beforehand. Hey, crash landing is my specialty, okay? Look, I haven't even broken a single bone yet. I'm more concerned about the shock your brain receives upon impact. I'm fine. Besides, this mademoiselle can take a hit. Oh. Hey, your parachute found you. Still fine. Even if I wasn't, that won't stop me from exploring this shiny cave. How fitting. My Neanderthal friend is amused over a cave. Anyways, let's go, Bonnie. We need to find Menanium before we get caught. Wow. Look at all of these sparkly glow lights. I don't see the excitement over it. They are just geometric minerals. Aww, don't be such a grumpy smartsy and enjoy the moment. But our mission right now is to locate Menanium Pond. In fact, my probe is detecting its radioactive particles near us. However, they are rapidly echoing. <laughs> Your little antenna is silly. Pony, concentrate. All right, all right. I'll start looking. Mm, doesn't help that it's dark in here. <laughs> ah, like a sun flexing on its muscles. What? We found some Minanium. Great, but that barely breaks even. Let's look for more. Da, 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 da. Wait, Pony, did you hear that? Pony! I'm sorry about your friend here, but. Disobedience upon the regime has violent consequences. Voluntarily turn yourself in and you won't end up with your buddy here. Huh, what's this red glowing aura? It feels warm. How are you still standing after a blow like that? Simple. The energy from your blow on her armor, which I created, dissipated as heat, preventing any serious damage to her. You sure about that? Cause that still hurt a bit. Well, most of the damage is mitigated at least. Ugh. Lethal consequences await you for shooting a specialist. I'll do it again. Well then, brace yourself. if your aim is terrible or if I'm just too nimble for you. <sighs> She's too swifty with that mechanical tail. I can't hit it. Attacking me head on? Uh, 
foolish girl. your little friend instead. Bonnie! <sighs> We're gonna have to break even today. What the... shape seems oddly familiar. It almost looks like... Tokoyaskaris is an enormous four-legged mechanical beast, with the last recorded sighting being 700 years ago. It was said to have been spotted in the mountain ranges, terrorizing the inhabitants who used its main food source as decor. A rare blue mineral, the beast usually only stalked the villagers from across the vast landscapes. But one day, it decided to attack. With its long and heavy metal limbs, it trapped bolt on the villagers' farms and houses. Until a courageous but mysterious warrior slayed the beast with his battle hammer. The Gaiascidus had been defeated, and its lifeless body slid off the mountain and tumbled into the slums, never to be seen again. Sir. We've encountered two no-name intruders in the caverns. A small delinquent girl and some large four-legged mechanical beast. They managed to escape, but they stole nothing of importance. A four-legged mechanical beast? What did they steal? Just a chunk of mananium. Sir? Do me a favor. Use whatever resources you need to capture these no-names. Understood. So you're still alive. Kiaskinus. That's that. What? I heard her scream a Kiaskinus. That word is not on my database. I'll have to research that later. But right now, we need to escape this moon. Okie dokie. या हम पहुंच गए हाँ लगभग एक सेकेंड मुझे अब वो आइलैंड दिख रहा है तो फिर अब चले अजीब सी लाइट क्या है सब इधर आओ ये सब क्या है पता नहीं लाइट ऑन करके देखते हैं अंदर चले क्या हाँ शायद पिछली बार की तरह कोई सांप ना जाए तुम यहाँ आए हुए हो ना नहीं नहीं किसी को कुछ मिला नहीं 
अब यहाँ अपना वक्त बर्बाद तो नहीं कर रहे ना नहीं मुझे नहीं लगता ये क्या है हाँ स्केलेटन ये जगह काफी अजीब है यहाँ क्या हो रहा है ये आवाज कैसी ये क्या हो रहा है अच्छा काम किया दोबारा इस आइलैंड का कोर अब स्टेबल हो चुका है अब मैं यहाँ आराम से बिना किसी परेशानी के रह सकता हूँ
parents always say, if you still don't know what to do later in life, go to the library. The answers are in the books. And they wouldn't believe how right they were. According to this very serious book, I can be a captain and fight the most frightening of missile creatures. Or adventurer to discover the most hidden, buried relics and outsmart all the traps on my way. Then, I'll be...
be a magician. Hmm, not such a good idea after all. Or even an athlete can challenge the highest peaks and come down the steepest slopes. That's not very serious, my parents will retort. Then I will reply to them, I will become a scientist to invent the most far-fetched machines. Or then, hey, whatever I decide in the end, I know it will be awesome. In the meantime, I have very important business to attend to.
Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Bang. I win. The garlic bread is now officially my... Uh... Oh, there's only one way to settle this. You're on. Connect. Get ready, sis. I won't be holding back. I hope not. Not that good. You always think you're the best. I am no, the best. No, you're not. Actually, you're not the best. I literally am. I've been playing this game longer than you. I, I won though. Won what? I'm still beating you. It's not won until one of us gives up and throws no, 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 the stupid no, no, no. headset out. What was that? Crap! Did you leave the cat out of the cage again? He's gonna get into our bread. The water is so warm. Are you gonna jump this time? Hmm. Maybe later if I feel like it. That's what you said last time. You scared? I'm not scared. So jump then. Dude, I already jumped like a thousand times. You're such a liar. No, I'm not. I just did it when you weren't here. Do it then. Fine. Hmm. Go already. I'm going.
this will make you feel better. <sighs> Hey, we're missing one. Care to join us? Here. And together, took them out and saved the town. Enjoy your day off. Thanks, I will. Swim peacefully, my friends. Please protect me from what's about to come. Only one left. He's a good shot. Will you surrender now? You can come out. She sounds... familiar. Is it her? No, I... I can't trust that. Kathy? You came just to see me?
Yes. So, I hope you enjoyed all of those films. Tomorrow, this event will culminate in the final round, and I'll show you a little preview of what that will look like here now. So that's what you can expect to see tomorrow in the finals and that will premiere here on this channel at the same time. For the animators in this round, you will be able to look up your scores and notes in the spreadsheet that I've linked in the description. Each entry is scored out of 100 in the categories of art, animation, originality, entertainment, story, and sound. I want to say a big congratulations to all the animators who made it here to the semi-finals. It's a great achievement that you have made a film of your own imagination and have made it all the way here. Thank you all for watching as well and I will see you tomorrow in the final round. See you then.